Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just gonna kind of be like a vlog style video, really laid back and chill. Um, it'll probably be over the next few days. We have some things going on this week, like Christmas related. Um, I have a lot of stuff to wrap up with Bowdoin because this week is his last week of school, so we have a lot to do with that. Um, yeah, so I figured I would just take you along and show you what we have going on. All right, guys, I just am um, getting ready to put this out for the morning, and I realized I never showed you guys um, our basket for this year. So we started doing this, I think, like two or three years ago. I think this is our third year doing this. It's for all of our delivery drivers, and we leave this out on our porch every single day. I bring it in at night. Um, and usually we just like put chips, we got Pringles, um, we got these P3 protein packs. I started doing this last year and luckily we live in the Midwest where it's cold out so we can put like refrigerated items outside because it's like 30 degrees outside. Obviously if you live where it's warming you can't do that but um, we do Red Bulls. This was a really popular one last year. Some iced coffees and then we put some pop in here. And we have been doing Gatorade too, which is really popular, but we're out of Gatorade now, so I have to go buy some later on this week. But this is what we have in our little goodie bag today, and our delivery drivers really like it. Honestly, we order, I'd say probably 80% of our gifts, our Christmas gifts online. So we are constantly getting packages. So I think this is just a little nice thing to do for your delivery drivers to help them out. I know this season is like their busiest season ever and they're working around the clock. There are times where we get packages delivered at 10 o'clock at night. So I know these guys are working around the clock and they're super busy. So any little thing to make them smile and make their day go a little bit smoother and help them out is always appreciated. Guys, I'm so excited. Look what finally came in. It's our Christmas cards. I think they turned out so cute. I made them on Canva because I didn't want to pay a ton of money for like pre-made ones. So I made them on Canva and I just had them shipped to me, printed and shipped because last year I printed them through Walgreens and through Staples, I think was the second one. Um, no, maybe not Walgreens. Yeah, it was Walgreens. Yeah, so the first one was just through Walgreens and it was such bad quality. I returned them because I was so unhappy with them. They literally looked like just horrible, like grainy and just really bad. The coloring was super off. So I did it through Staples the second time because I needed it next day because obviously I am such a late planner. I am like, I'm just so bad at planning, pre-planning. Um, but this time I was like, you know what? I want to like print them through a better like company. So I chose Canva and I did the faster shipping, which by the way, it still took like seven freaking days, but it wasn't Canva's fault. It was definitely FedEx's fault because it was lost for, these were lost <laughs> for like four days. They were, they were not moving. So I thought we were going to be screwed, but we, they showed up today. So today I'm gonna stuff envelopes and I'm gonna use my Cricut to write out names and addresses on here to look all fancy and cute. I bought these red envelopes at Hobby Lobby. Um, and yeah, we're gonna stuff Christmas cards, so let's do it. I mean the background, I'm dead. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how I usually do this. So to write with the text, open up your text and this is the one I'm gonna use. So for this one, I'm gonna use a thinner one. It's called Daisy, I believe, where is it? Daisy Ray. So I downloaded this off defont.com. Okay, so you can see, obviously it's thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna type out a name. I'm just gonna type out a random name and then I make it bigger. So this envelope is seven by five. So, you know, I try and center it. Obviously with ours, like the ones that we're actually mailing, not ones that we're just physically dropping off. I put the name and the address and then we'll put our name, like our mailing address in the corner. Obviously I'm not gonna show you guys that one just for privacy purposes, but yeah, so that's how I do it. And then of course you wanna go through to edit and make sure that it's not cutting. This says that it's gonna cut. So you wanna change that to draw. I'm hitting pen, so it will draw it. And now you're gonna click make it. And again, you wanna center it, so seven by five. So I'm, you know, I'm approximate. I'm not super like picky with it being exactly in the center. So, you know, I just eyeball it. I'm not a perfectionist, that's for dang sure. So then you're gonna hit light cardstock. And then you're gonna put your envelope on your mat. I'm using a standard grip mat. Just make sure it's pushed down really nice and good. And then you have to insert your pen. So I'm just using the 0.4 fine tip pen. 
and you're going to enter it into the A slot of your Cricut. Hit the arrow. Hit the C. And that's it. And how cute does that look? It looks like it's like handwritten, doesn't it? Nate was telling me last night because I was doing all the ones with um, like our mailing address on the side. And he's like, it literally looks like you hand wrote that and people are going to think that that's your real handwriting. So yeah, pretty cute. Now I'm going to get to stuffing. Okay, so now I am going to um, get Bowdoin's teacher gift ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day before winter break. Um, so on my Cricut, I wrote out the teacher's names all nice on the envelopes. Obviously, I'm covering the names. And then what we're doing this year for them is a gift card. There's three of them. So I have his main teacher and then two other teachers that help him out. Um, so we did $15 on gift cards for each of them. We're just putting them in this little card and I'll have him sign it and then we're doing coffee. I got this caramel one from Starbucks because it sounded delicious and these little mini Bailey's bottles. I thought this was so cute so I'll just give one to each teacher. Little Bailey's and coffee and then a little gift card to go with it. So next up, we got to make this gingerbread man for Bowdoin School. So I got, what do we get? So we got some buttons, got some googly eyes, some pipe cleaners, some like fuzzy little, what do you call it, like pom-pom, glitter pom-pom. So we cut out the pattern already, or I did, and then Bowdoin's going to use some crayons too and some hot glue. We learned our lesson the last time we used regular Mom. Elmer's glue and it took like two days for it to dry. So this Mom. time we're going to try hot glue. Here's how we turned out. I think you turned out pretty darn cute. It's got little googly eyes, suspenders, buttons, little fuzzy pants. Oh, mom, this is sight words. Super cute. All right, guys, our tradition is to make salt dough ornaments every year, and it is about that time again. So we're gonna make some salt dough ornaments, 
and we'll bring you along and show you how we do it. It's really easy, really cheap, and really fun. All right, guys, so that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me, and I will see you I in the next one. Bye, guys. Chair.